And John Fung tells a story when he was on Tudong one time. As evening fell, he checked the sky and did see a cloud. So he pitched his umbrella tent out in the open, on a line from one tree to another. And he meditated. And around midnight, this storm blew up from where he had no idea. So he put all of his cloths, his robes and other cloths, except for his underrobe. He put them all in his bowl to keep them dry. And then he sat there. This is part of the tradition of a forest monk, that once you've set up your umbrella tent in a place, you don't move regardless, which means you have to be very careful where you set it up to begin with. But in this case, the storm was unexpected. So he sat there, and his meditation topic, he said, was, the body is wet, but the mind isn't wet. With that thought in mind, he was able to separate his awareness from his body and entered into deep concentration. So it's a good lesson to learn how to separate your awareness from the conditions of the body outside. Today's going to be hot, tomorrow's going to be hot. But the mind doesn't have to feel the warmth, or it doesn't have to comment on the warmth, because after all, the mind is awareness. It's not the sort of thing that gets cold or wet or hot. It's just aware. You can keep it with the breath. The breath comes in, the breath goes out. So you're with the wind element and the awareness. That's all you need to hold on to. As for everything else, it'll do what it does. The heat comes, the heat goes. We've survived it many times in the past. It's not going to kill us. Just learn how to focus your attention in the right spot and separate it out from all the other things that would pull it down, especially all the thoughts that would get you all worked up. Because you can spend the whole day commenting on the heat, and it just makes it worse. Or you can go about your business with the breath. You find that you keep yourself occupied with the breath, you can slip past the heat, allow the heat to do its thing. But you're okay. It's like that question that John Sawat liked to ask. I actually asked it one time, but it was a good question. We were sitting around up at the sala at the top of the hill. He pointed to the mountain over on the eastern horizon. He says, the mountain over there, is it heavy? Of course, when John asks a question like that, you know it's a trick question, so nobody dared answer. So he answered it. He says, if you're trying to pick it up, yes, it's going to be heavy. But if you don't try to pick it up, it's not heavy on you. It may be heavy in and of itself. But that doesn't have to place any weight on you. It's because we go around picking up things in the world. That's why it's heavy. So for a good part of the day, when it's hot outside, you don't have to pick up your body. You just pick up the breath element, play with the breath, get absorbed in the breath. And that's why any thoughts that would come in on the heat, just let them go, let them go. The heat doesn't need to be commented on. And you can find you can slip through the day a lot more easily.